Hi, my name is uh, Juha Pekka, but I'm usually called uh, JP for ease of pronunciation. And I work at the European Commission at the Director General for European Civil Protection in Mandarin Asia. Yeah, it's, it's my first time at the EGU. Of course, I've been to other scientific conferences uh, quite a lot, but since, for example, my professional background is not in geosciences, so, uh, but nonetheless, uh, it's, it's a very important like part of like to engage in science already at that stage, like in, in scientific conference and to be better integrated in the, let's say, normal uh, scientific process, you know, doing in journal publications and presenting at the conference. And that's a very good like uh, avenue or angle to better engage that science and research would be more useful for the European European people and, and, and for the for the EU disaster resilience goals and for our director general. Oh, I'm I'm at attendee. Uh, well, no, I'm also uh, also trying to support in a few of the science for policy workshops and, and meetings and so on because uh, it's uh, better to actually not not just hang around but just uh, to actually go into workshops where there's a specific targeted uh, like topic. Uh, I think there were, for example, how to write a policy briefing, which is or a policy brief, which is a totally different world for usually for scientists and researchers than it is for, for example, for our domain, how it is written and what, what should what should you be focusing on, and a kind of like a hot desk or help desk for science or policies that there can be a quick, quick uh, discussions on certain topics relating to science policy interface, and so so quite a lot. But I'm. Uh, not only trying to be active active in me me blah blah all the time but also to attend the, some of the sessions and to hear out what the researchers and scientists also say because it's uh, important also to get the honest like opinions and feedback you know between the or under the table and between the lines so, so naturally that i can also compile this will sound boring but i can compile a reporting back to our 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 hierarchy and so on because those are the way uh, public institutions work, so we are reports. Often when we kind of like discuss with between researchers and policymakers in any other venue or event or like a meeting, it's uh, all of the civil protection when they made operations, all of that, how it's enabled is almost always by science in the background that you wouldn't have an airplane without science you wouldn't have a satellite system floating in or orbit that could uh, assess the, or forecast you know floods for example without science and research and and uh, you would never never get better in the future uh, on that especially regarding the extreme extremity of climate change that is now starting to take its toll so so it's a it's, it's sometimes it maybe a, a abstract or a donkey bridge to to explain to some people, but it is a very like in a very long term science and re research is everything that enables our activities to to make uh, the world and Europe more resilient for disasters and again be more effective for the European people. So. Takes time to know how the policy makers and, and uh, technical experts and, uh, and the analysts and the report writers and public think and work. So, so for example, I mentioned some of the bigger policy documents, the disaster resilience goals is the biggest one. So, I mean, it helps a lot already if you read that policy document and you focus your research more on it, because it already kind of says what the European public would need or what has been prioritized for the moment to do but also like just the hu human part of it that uh, that of course policymakers and the technical experts and analysts and project managers uh, at public institutions are, are humans too and uh, you would need to devote your time in the in your research and, and, and project plans to how to convey the ideas as so the other side also understands it because uh, because a journal article and, and a scientific conference is intended for all, one audience, but of course a policy audience is a, is a not totally different thing, but it's still a different thing. So, so not not just to have a 100% of your research going to research. If you want to 
also influence policy and, and, uh, and public issues, you should devote maybe 25% of it to like co-creation, co-design, or, or uh, really think of your dissemination plans and how to engage the policy-making apparatus. So it's, it's, uh, it requires effort on it. That's our discussion. Thank you and bye-bye.